How are we doing today, everybody? It's Watch Display here. Today I have a review of the Rolex Root Beer. And it's more of my initial thoughts. It won't be a full-blown review yet. I've had this watch for about a month, but I would like a little bit more time before I go over a full review. This is the full Ever Rose variant. Um, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best current sports references in the in the rose gold that's out right now um, what i love about it is the warmness of the gold as you can see my my ring is also rose gold the cartier ring but the bangle that i'm wearing is 22 karat yellow gold and you can see it's a lot more loud um, and this one is a lot more subtle and actually in certain lighting it actually looks like steel so in like dark lit areas it almost looks like steel so that's a really cool component about it. Um, you can see that I do wear my watch. It has normal scratches on it. I wear it to work. I wear it as a daily watch right now. Uh, my day date is currently getting a dial swap. So I wear this one almost every day. Um, I love the heft of the watch. Overall, there's not really anything I would change to it. I do like how the lugs are a little bit more slim compared to the previous iterations. Um, it's just a little bit more uh, curved in. They're not a whole lot different. Um, the bracelet is nice. It'd be nice to have a glide lock, but I do like the less lengthy clasp on this one versus the glide locks a lot longer clasp. And I do like the width of the clasp. The, cla the newest um, Submariner clasp is a bit wide for me, and I like the taper of the bracelet. Um, but over again, this is just more my initial thoughts of the watch. I really do love it. I don't plan on selling it. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Rolex models that I've owned um, so far. It's a really great model and so it's, it's a reference that literally you could wear every day um, and really enjoy it. Uh, it's a great sports piece. It's good in the pool. It's good for outings. It's good for work. It's good for everything and that's what I love about it. The day date is also an awesome variant. I have that in the 40 millimeter so the day date 40 but it is a bit loud. This one's a little bit more toned down and of course you get the sports clasp. I live in Florida, so your wrist can swell, so that having that easy link is definitely a good thing to have. Um, it can, you know, if it swells outside and it's hot, you can un undo the easy link. In the President bracelet, there's a less give uh, because it doesn't have, it has just like the normal uh, through and through Rolex clasp. There's not a, a sports clasp on that model. Um, but all in all, it is a great looking watch in my opinion and overall still in excellent condition. Um, obviously it could be polished, but I have no intention of polishing this because I wear it every day. I didn't clean it or anything, so it actually looks a lot better than it does in these photos. It's very smudged and stuff just from natural oils and wearing it for a couple. I haven't probably washed this one in about two weeks. But all in all, there's my initial take. What do you think of the GMT root beer?